<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Are we on? Yes, I think Hi. we are. Hi. <laughs> How is everybody? Hello, DJ Nick and DJ Chloe. Hi, Sam. Welcome to uh, welcome to another edition of our coffee break. Na misko kayo dalawa. Actually, yung buong easy rock team mis na misko na. <laughs> And uh, last week we were supposed to uh, to have another uh, coffee break session, but too bad the internet connection wasn't that stable. So today I hope we won't get cut off at all. <laughs> Para tuli tuli na, and uh, we have another interesting topic to talk about here on coffee break, and we are going to talk about the start of classes by. August, ayan, which is, uh, you know, very challenging for DepEd and for all the teachers and the students, di ba? Ayan. Eh, intay lang tayo ng iba pa mga viewers. Okay, we have uh, 11 viewers now. Pakita na muna natin si, ano, si DJ Nick at si DJ Chloe. Ayan. Magkumustahan na muna tayo Hi. while uh, we are waiting for viewers. Hi, Sam. Hi, Nick. How are you? I I, I'm well. I'm good. I hope we we are going to be blessed with a good connection today. Kasi na mimis ko na makipagchikahan sa inyo. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I love the red lipstick. lipstick. <laughs> yeah, red lipstick ako ngayon. Meron akong pinaglalaban eh. <laughs> ano pinaglalaban mo? O pinaglalaban ko yung law ng classroom. Yung law ng classroom. Yan. <laughs> <laughs> Mano nose bleed na ako diyan. <laughs> Ay, nako. How are you? Ang dami ko nang nakikitang memes doon eh. Right, right. It's nice to see you both. At lagi nakaayos. Yeah. Ay, hiya naman ako nakita pa rin sa katatag ko. Ngayon lang yan, DJ Nick. <laughs> Ngayon, tama. <laughs> Kanina wala ka ba kilay, wala ka may lipstick. Kore, wala kami yung contour. Pero alam mo, kailangan talaga mag-ayos-ayos din tayo. Kasi ayoko nang maulit yung one time ni nag-video call tayo. Tapos parang yung isang staff lang nakaayos. Tapos yung itsura ko hindi ma-define. Ayoko nang maulit yun. Andun yung mga boss natin. <laughs> Ayan. May oh share gosh. na muna tong video natin. Yeah. Shinier ko na pala to sa Facebook page ko. I hope you guys can join us. You're free to uh, post your your comment, your opinions, uh, whatever it is na mapag-uusapan namin today. And I think we have a very interesting topic today, right Sam? That's right. We are going to talk about the start of classes by August, which I think is uh, pinag-meetingan na nila and I believe uh, it has been final because it has been announced already. Though, mm-hmm. hindi pa rin natin alam talaga kung uh, talagang tuloy na tuloy na in August, you know? <laughs> yeah. Pero hopefully, sana it will be possible with all the adjustments. Kasi as far as I know, kasi I've been in touch with the uh, the teachers of some of my children, ano, uh, ongoing pala yung kanilang mga uh, conferences and the seminars regarding the new normal scheme for education mm. dito sa Pilipinas. So, yeah. as of now, nagpe-prepare na talaga yung education sector, including all the teachers, to embrace the new normal kung paano yung uh, classroom setting, yung online teaching nila. Ayan. So, marami silang pinagahandaan as of now. Ano kaya yun? Do you think there will be um schedule of classes considering na syempre alam mo naman yung mga bata magkakalapit and um yung mga bata hindi nila alam na pwede silang maging career, di ba? Actually, kaya nga pinatili yes. yung yung classes. Um do you think ma- magkakaroon ng schedule yan like MWF tapos yung iba naman Tuesdays, Thursdays and who knows maybe Saturday kasi ang alam ko ang start ng classes will be this August. I think proper scheduling talaga is really needed on this part, ano? Kasi, uh, uh-huh. especially for the public school, kasi sila yung talagang crowded. And the, not all yeah. families have access to internet or have uh, computers at home for online learning. That is true. That's so, correct. So, malaking adjustment ang gagawin for the uh, 
public education sector para ma- maisakatuparan yung uh, social distancing kahit sa school. Kasi mukhang ano eh, meron pa rin silang face-to-face learning eh, pero they would like to do it in open in open big spaces like sa mga auditorium or Uh-oh. sa ba- sa basketball court sa school, ganun, para siguradong hindi magkakahawaan yung mga bata. But the thing is, syempre, we know that kind of setting naman, lalo na pag hindi aircon yung facility, Ma- mahirap din para sa mga bata dal mainit. <laughs> exactly. True. Baka, syempre, merong mga, magkaroon din ng ibang uh, health issues din just because mm. of the, alam nyo naman, even if it's August already, mainit pa rin dito sa atin. Diba? That is so true. You know, uh, I, I've, I've seen some posts of uh, private schools who have already been gearing up towards online learning. Yung iba ginagawa na siya now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but oh, for oh, the oh. other schools, I think nagpe-prepare pa rin sila. So they're in the process mm-hmm. of, you know, getting equipment and uh, trying to um, fix the schedule of their students. Like kasi ako, meron akong incoming senior high mm-hmm. for this school oh, year. Oh. So the schedule given to me as an example was every Monday, online learning sila. Tapos, okay. um, Tuesday to Thursday lang ang pasok ng, let's say, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then, talagang, ano lang sila, mga 10 to 12 uh, students lang per class. Kasi sobrang yeah. magkakahiwalay. Hmm. I heard nga daw, meron din daw project na parang some schools are planning to give out, I don't know, iPads probably sa mga estudyante para daw yung mga books parang hmm. i-download na lang. I'm not so sure Actually, if that's true, ha? pero kung totoo yan, I think mm-mm. that would be very helpful talaga, lalo na kung magkakaroon ng mga online classes. Problema na lang yan, na naman dyan yung Wi-Fi connection sa bahay. Oo, mm. hindi tsaka hindi lahat kasi merong internet eh. Diba? Hindi that's lahat true. may sariling Oo, internet okay. sa bahay eh. So, it will really be a big challenge for for the students and the parents to cope up with online learning, lalo na kung hindi naman sila prepared sa bahay. Diba? Talagang malaking adjustment to. Especially for sa mga kababayan natin na hindi naman ganun ka well off, lalo na yung mga pumapasok yeah. pa sa public school. Yeah. Tsaka hindi lang yan, Sam, no? Um, considering na napaka laki ng epekto nito sa economy ng bansa natin, we can be very sure na there will be a lot of parents who will be very hard up sa pagdating ng enrollment. Totoo, totoo yan. Totoo yan. Mm-hmm. Ikaw, DJ, can you imagine how would your life be kung student ka pa rin now with this new normal? Yan nga, yan nga iniisip ko kanina eh. Nasabi ko, nung time namin, ang wish namin eh, huwag pumasok. Pero ngayon, parang feeling ko sobrang blessed kami na nagkaroon kami ng chance na makapasok during our time. Dati kasi, di ba, pag bumabagyo, parang saya-saya lang, walang pasok. Pero those are things that you don't take for granted. Kasi when the pandemic started, sobrang dami ng problema. And I really feel for the kids. Hindi ko ma-imagine yeah. kung, kung gaano ka-stressful yun. Kasi lalo na, di ba, yung, yung, when we uh, talked about, ano na nga to, yung mass promotion, ang hirap nung decision eh, for both the teachers and the students. Diba? Kasi yeah. parang yung pagiging fair mo when it comes to learning, yun, medyo naka-question din siya. So, ang hirap, sobrang struggle siya. Oo. Tsaka, di ba, hindi pa naman natapos yung classes talaga nitong last school year dahil nga biglang yeah. nag-quarantine. Some of the schools still have classes. Now, yeah. hindi na sila actually nakapag-last grading period. Uh, we were informed by the teachers na kung ano yung performance nila sa mga nagdaang grading, yun na lang ang pagbabasihan nila. So, mm-hmm. medyo challenging talaga din for the teachers, you know, to to come up with grades for their students, lalo yeah. na kung hindi naman nila na-complete yung buong ano, grading system. Mm-hmm. And for those who are graduating, I mean, it's the it's the highlight of your whole um, school year. Tapos biglang nawala yun, di ba? Hindi ka nakapag-march sa online daw. Online daw yung pag-march sa And it's, you know, it's kind of sad. <laughs> to be yeah, it's it, that, that's <laughs> really very frustrating, di ba? 
Lalo na sa college, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Anyway. Kasi yun ang pinaka-highlight eh. Uh-huh. I just want to say hello muna pala to those who are um, joining us at this time. Si Jace Tew. Ay, sabi niya, I love you, I Kuya Nick. Basahin ko lang. <laughs> Aljo, Aljo and Agustin, thank you for watching. Si Jerry Diono, Cordiano, hi, idol. Ayan. Yeah, let us know what you think of the topic namin today. Oh, especially for all the parents that are tuned in or if you have a brother right. and sister who are tuned in ay, who are studying pala. <laughs> Mag, uh, mag-comment lang kayo. Uh, tell us what you know about the uh, how the class. Being ready na kaya tayo. Feeling ko marami yeah. pang kailangang adjustment na gawin. Ang daming kailangang i-procure na gamit. Uh, yeah. Sobrang, ano, for the education sector as well. Mm-mm. Sobra. We can just, ano, we can just be thankful enough na this happened at a time na patapos na yung school year, eh. Because what if it happened na kalagitnaan ng school year? Mas, I'm, I'm sure, it, it would be much harder for the teachers, for the for the education sector na mag, mag-decide kung anong gagawin, di ba? True. Talagang napakahirap ng sitwasyon. And of course, for, for parents, like for me and Chloe, di ba? Yung risk of your mm-hmm. child, you know, leaving your home and going to school, whether commuting or kung nagagrab sila or nagta-taxi, uh, ano pa rin yung risk eh? Kasi lalabas ng bahay. Kahit naman may sarili silang service sa school, alam mo yun, may risky pa din eh. Di ba? So, Kasi ano pa rin yung takot ng magulang? Oh, oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. Especially on my part because you know, I do sa health condition. Isa siya sa mga vulnerable talaga because she's immune compromised. So mas nakakaparanoid. Eh, I, I, gave her, I gave her I gave her I gave her at the start of this um virus nung nagkaroon na ng balita, nung nagkaroon na ng isang case dito sa atin. I gave her an N95 N95 mask to wear every day. Hindi niya masuot-suot because sabi niya, it's so hard to breathe. Totoo. Hindi daw siya, magka, hindi siya magkaka-virus. Sabi niya, mamamatay naman daw siya. Hindi siya makain niya. Hey, nakaka-suffocate siya. <laughs> Wait, talking about, ano, speaking about masks nga pala, meron ako nabasa na dapat daw pala, we're, we're not supposed to use it for uh, a long period of time. In fact, we should take it off Every 10 yeah. minutes, 10 minutes daw to at least breathe in um, air kasi it would cause parang poisoning sa atin because we keep inhaling stale air, yung carbon dioxide something parang ganun. Especially if you're driving inside your car, hindi raw maganda pala na you are still wearing your mask. Ang hirap. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And this is the new normal na kailangan nating mag-adapt, di ba? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Right, right, right. So wearing I know, masks. looking is- back, uh huh. Looking back when this pandemic started, when there was the threat of this one, parang makikita mo lang yung mga naging decisions ng mga officials natin, and you would just, you know, get to think na sana naging vigilant na lang right from the start. We were told to wear mask and all, de ba tulad ng ibang bansa na. They were able to um, they were able to contain or control the virus, de ba? Taka yung ano malaking factor din kasi yung pagpapapasok natin dito ng uh, foreign nationals yung mga international flights. Yeah, yeah. The 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 planes, the international flights are really the best transport <laughs> of this virus. <laughs> Totoo, Totoo de ba? Yeah. Grabe talaga. But you know, a friend of mine nga told me na uh, galing siya dito sa Pilipinas, inabot mo siya ng lockdown talaga, pero yeah, he was lucky enough to uh, be able to go back to the US. And all throughout his flight daw, he was wearing a mask. Wala, hindi siya nagkasipon or nagkasakit or anything. He was very, very, ano, he was very careful talaga. Talagang suot-suot niya yung mask niya. Anyways. But- yeah. But the scary part is some of us, well, not us, but I hope not, uh, are asymptomatic 
I mean, like you can be completely feeling okay, and you think you're healthy, but you're you're transmitting the virus. So if you have, it, it really mm-hmm. sige nip. Sabi nung kaibigan ko, I have a friend who is a nurse in a certain hospital here in in the metro. I asked her kasi, sabi ko, what if I am asymptomatic and I have someone at home who is vulnerable? Say, for example, a senior or someone with an immune compromised uh, an immune compromised person. Sabi ko, 100% ba na mahahawa ko siya? 100% daw mahahawa mo? Kung asymptomatic ka and you have someone right. at home na wow. vulnerable. So, yun na, siguro, yun na lang yung magiging basehan natin, ano? Let's observe yeah. kung si, yung mga kasama natin na alam natin vulnerable. Yeah, kaya we have to act as if the virus is already uh, in us, di ba? Para we are not complacent. And, you know, again, going back to our topic, it's very scary because kids can have, like, a strong immune system. Yung kumbaga yung yeah. mga nasa elementary na nag-sports na maayos yung pangangatawan nila. But for those who are a bit frail, yun, mahirap yun. Kasi pag may nag-spark na magkaroon na isa, eh, lalo pa naman, naglalaro ang mga bata, mas mahirap. Yeah. At saka, like ano, to, if ano? you can recall the issue about the Dengvaxia before, di ba? Uh, when uh-huh. they gave it to uh-huh. the public schools, and daming naging epekto dun sa children with underlying conditions. Now, how can COVID not be the same with that? Di ba? Mm-hmm. Yung iba nga nag-react sa Dengvaxia vaccine, e paano pa tong uh, COVID? Hindi natin alam how the children's immune system will react, lalo na if they have an underlying condition na hindi pa alam ng mga magulang. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Napakahirap talaga. Anyways, I'd like to um, read some comments that we have on yeah. the comment section. Chingay in Talent says, This is the time that school admins make use and maximize the e-learning options. I've heard public school teachers or public school teachers as well allotted time every day to outline and use their lesson plan using computer and stuff. Hopefully, students will religiously and focus on studying using e-learning options at home for their safety. Ayan. Ayan. Thank yeah. you so much, Chingay Intalan, for that comment. Yeah. Show sure, Hello, Hello, DJs. <laughs> With golden voices, especially DJ Sam, I miss long drive na ikaw ang naririnig ko. Oh. Aww. We miss you guys too. <laughs> we hope we can just, you know, do our uh, regular shows as if walang COVID. Pero syempre, we also have to keep ourselves safe so we can continue providing relaxing and soothing entertainment for you guys every day. Kahit work from home kami, makakapag-provide pa rin kami niyan. Yeah. Right. Tina Rivera, thank you for sharing the stream. Maraming salamat. Hi, Tina. I'd like to say hello to uh, Lara Kikuchi watching from Japan and to Sheila Cotton as well. Thank you so much. Si Thank Tita you so Red much Diamond for watching. Is also online. Hi, Ate Red. And si Tin Rivera watching from Binyan Laguna. Okay, hello to one our more friends thing. at Binyan Laguna. Mm-hmm. Ang nakaka-challenge talaga dito, especially for DepEd, ano, yung how how can they uh, make e-learning possible for for the public students, ba? Diba? Mm-hmm. For the masses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? Paano mo, paano sila mag e learning sa bahay kung wala naman silang gamit, kung wala din silang internet, kung wala silang computer, ba? Diba? So, isipin mo ilang students sa isang classroom in a public school and not everyone has their own connection or computer at home. So, mm-hmm. how can Correct. the e-learning be made possible? Yeah. That I was, is really I was very talking challenging. To, yeah, I was talking to some teachers because this was my topic, I think, like last week or a couple of weeks ago for Nick Fix. Um, Because more of them are from the province. So, na-discuss na, na nga namin yung e-learning. Tapos, parang ang sabi nila sa akin, parang, Nick, how are we supposed to think about e-learning when our students are asking us kung meron daw ba kaming madideliver na ulam kahit daw ulam lang sa kanila. So, that that is really painful for them. And, you know, it's 
parang bago ka, bago nga naman mag move forward dun sa pag-aaral dapat may laman muna yung chan nila so kung hindi nila ma-provide yung basic need na yun parang hirap sobrang far-fetched nung nung pag-aaral online plus the fact that some of them are uh, very reliant on the pisonet <laughs> sa mga internet shops kaso since may lockdown nga and na uh, close lahat yun sobrang struggle kasi doon na budget nila eh, yung oras nila sa internet um they get to pay nga piso per ano ba per minute ba yun or baka long of every 10 minutes ganyan pero ngayon hindi nila matingi yung internet wala sila talaga access so it's it's a really really big struggle for them very challenging talaga yan for the public schools and i hope talaga that our government is really doing its best to you know provide for the children studying in public school and to also support the teachers regarding e-learning uh, as of now wala kasi talaga tayong data um what is being done what is being processed especially by DepEd and shed ano but hopefully sana mabigyan ng solusyon yang pinakamalaking problema na yan which is how to help the masses with e-learning kasi children cannot go out eh diba mm-hmm. lalo na yung elementary uh, even high school so hindi sila pwedeng palabasin so how can that be possible if uh, diba kung wala silang equipment sa bahay or gamit Actually maganda nga yung nabanggit ni ano DJ Chloe kung kung mabibigyan sila ng mga tablets, 'di ba? That they can yeah. you know take home and everything all the modules is downloaded. Yun nga lang, kailangan din ng suporta mm. ng magulang to to keep a watchful eye on their children to make sure that you okay. know nagaguide sila sa pag-aaral they're being, kasi they can do other be, they can do other things with their yeah. time. <laughs> and you know Naging, they should be very responsible in using the, the internet as well. Diba? True, true. Now, yeah. that is the ano, challenging and the scary part. Paano na tayo by August? <laughs> Alam mo, sometimes when I get to really ponder on mm-hmm. things, I cannot help but, you know, feel scared because there's just so much uncertainty. But I don't know where to start. Yeah. Yeah. Totoo. Grabe. At saka, mm. even if, ano eh, minsan, uh, al- alam mo na yung gagawin mo, nailatag na, nagbigay na ng guidelines ng government. Pero in real life, parang minsan, kanya-kanyang diskarte pa din yung nangyayari sa atin eh. Kaya nakakatakot. Yeah. Ang sabi nga ni Ate Red Diamond, we need na palakasin mm-hmm. ang katawan and kung tayo po ay may nararamdaman mm-hmm. na daw, may ubo, wag na daw lumabas ng bahay. And you know, I believe as parents, you know, we Shepherd, we have the responsibility to make sure that our children's immune system is strong. Um dapat meron din silang daily multivitamins and they eat healthy. They uh, yung sleeping habits nila healthy then to make sure na kaya nilang labanan itong pandemic na to. Pero alam mo, um it what's happening right now? I try my best na i-reset ko yung sarili ko. I try my best to reset my sleeping habits, my eating habits, kahit hindi pa ako pumapayat, my my activities sa bahay. Parang you should just, ano, just be very positive about the whole thing and try to make everything work for you. Diba? Someone is, ano, yes. watching us right now. Sabi niya, si Mary Lou Zimich watching you guys while on this long line at a certain mall dito sa General Trias, Cavite. Hi! Thank you for watching us. Ayan. At hindi siya maiinip habang nakapila. <laughs> Pero alam mo, naaawa din ako sa ibang mga tao talaga. Especially those who do not have their own transport system, their their own cars. Uh, sometimes I see them talaga na may dala-dala silang mga trolleys para lang makapag-grocery, tapos and then maglalakad pa sila pa uwi. Apakahirap talaga itong nangyayaring ito sa atin ngayon. Hindi naman tayo makapag, ano, we can't offer naman to give them, you know, have a carpool, kasi bawal, di ba? Mm-mm. So, it's just risky. Everything now is risky. <laughs> <laughs> true. 
<laughs> laging ano eh, laging iisipin mo parang baka makahawa ka or pwedeng ikaw ang mahawa. Ikaw mahawa. <laughs> Okay. You just have okay. to think nga the way. Just you need to start thinking that everybody is a potential ano carrier. Everybody is a yeah, carrier. Or you a are carrier. a carrier. Ganun talaga. Kawa na mo. I remember ano, my ano, husband. Ano? Hmm. He was telling me na the last time he did grocery shopping, uh, medyo malayo malayo naman daw sa kanya yung guy. But there was this guy na umatching siya ng umatching tapos ni-remove niya yung mask niya while nakapila <laughs> sa counter. Oh my oh, God. God. I had the Sabi same ko, experience. Sabi ko, did you make sure na malayo ka dyan ha? <laughs> yeah, I had the same experience before, just before the lockdown when everybody was preparing for it because there was a hush-hush about it already na magkaka-lockdown daw. I was outside this big drugstore mamimili na ako ng gamot and there was a pregnant woman just right in front of me na humatching talaga ng todo bigay. Tumakbo ko, promise. <laughs> <laughs> Ngayon talaga, mapapraning ka na eh. Kasi because you want to keep yourself safe, you want to keep your family safe because we know how contagious the COVID-19 virus is, di ba? Alam mo yun, Not just palagang, contagious, Sam. It, it, it pays to be praning oh, oh, these days. <laughs> not just contagious, ah, but how hard it is to be sick of, get sick of it. San, san ka pupunta? I mean, no one will be there to take care of you. You'll be away from your family, di ba? You will be alone. I know. True. Mm-hmm. It's it's yeah, very sad, especially doon. for families na namatay na due to COVID. Sobrang sad Correct. kaya. Correct, yeah. Grabe. You can't even have a proper burial, you know, it's, uh, yeah, that's also very stressful. That's why emotional support, I think, is also very important now. Again, you know, for students, for our kids, and for your kids, I don't have, but like I'm a kid. <laughs> and, you know, my, my parents would every now and then talk to me. And I think that's important just to, you know, help us get through uh, the anxiety and everything that we're facing right now. Mm-mm. Sam, ikaw, how are you? Ano, how are you preparing now for the upcoming opening of classes? Just in case matuloy to sa sa August. Anong preparations mo? Because you have two kids, de ba na nagaaral. One is an incoming senior high, and si Gabby, ano na ba siya? Uh, incoming grade uh, ten. Incoming grade ten na siya. So what are you doing? In grade 9 pala, grade 9. Incoming grade 9. Ayan. So, meron akong senior high na isa, tsaka incoming grade 9. Um, ang preparation namin is constant communication with the school and the admin to make sure na uh, ma- makuha namin talaga yung tamang schedule for the children's uh-huh. classes. Ano? Kasi for, for now, to be honest, wala pa silang anything final. Wala pa silang binibigay sa amin na info na finality about how it will go through except for the senior students. Kasi yung senior high kasi, hindi sila ganun kadami compared to the the rest of the population of the the students. Ano? So yung sa senior high, talagang nagawa nila ng paraan kung paano gagawin yung social distancing and meron silang days that, that is assigned for e-learning. And uh, for the regular high school students, wala pa talagang final words from the school kung paano yung gagawin. So, kami, for now, ang preparation namin is uh, magintay and <laughs> uh, constant uh, briefing sa aming mga anak na if ever magkaroon na ng pasukan, paano yung magiging behavior nila in school, sa pagkain, yeah. towards, their cla- towards their classmates and the hygiene that they always have yeah. to remember. Kasi we, we know how these children can be so uh, ano careless. Yung, nawawala sa isip nila yan. They can be so careless that I remember scolding my my second year high school before. Kasi si Gabby siya yung lalaki namin na second year uh, second year high school before. Na mahilig humawak sa mga railing sa school. Yeah. So, syempre, madaling magkahawaan inong yung mga typical uh, typical na mga colds and viruses. Diba? So, eh ngayon, ang COVID, hindi naman siya typical. Nakakatakot siya. And the more that they have to be conscious with their hygiene. True. That's true. 
So, Ako yan naman. ang preparation na nagagawa namin. To, to wait and to, to brief our children properly about the new normal system that they have to adapt to then. Yeah. Well, I'm just, ano, I'm just lucky na yung studyante ko is incoming third year college na. So, since she's very much aware of her condition, alam niya naman kahit papano kung ano yung mga kailangan niyang gawin. But then, alam mo naman yung mga yan, minsan, they let their guard down. That's what I keep telling her. You should never let your guard down when it comes to hygiene. Like, you know, washing your hands and wearing your mask. Yung mga ganyang bagay. And my other, my, my eldest, eh tuloy-tuloy yung online classes nila, hindi sila na-cut off. Natawa nga ako eh. Someone sent me her picture na nakatulog siya sa online class. Pinituran siya nung kaklase niya. <laughs> si Chai nakatulog siya sa online class as in talagang nakagano. <laughs> it's, it's very you know, it's very conducive talaga to sleep na naka-online nag online class ka. <laughs> Totoo. Hindi ka sisitahin ang prof mo, hindi ka nakikita physically eh. <laughs> eh pero naka-video call yata sila or I don't know. So, yun, napicturean siya. <laughs> Tulog. <laughs> Epic eh. Ay, nako. Yun pala, so, that's the new normal now. Yun pala na ginagawa namin when we're talking about it kami mag-asawa, no? Um, iniisip namin kung ano na yung mga computer na papagamit sa mga bata. Ooh. Diba? Kung yeah. uh, an, anong oras ba sila dapat mag-online class. So we have to somehow be ready kahit wala pang final words from the school yet. Oo. Ako, uh, I, I um, took the opportunity, the liberty to call one of her teachers eh. Yung anak ko kahit college na. Sabi niya nakakahiya nga daw kasi college na. But you know, the mother in me Gusto ko malaman kasi kung anong plano ng school, how are they dealing with it, what are the plans, because one week na lang, mag, ah, ano na sila, magpa-finalist na sila, nag-lockdown pa. So, yun, inalam ko kung anong mangyayari. And I found out na may mga grades na nga daw, and that the, the classes will be on August na, by this August. Kami ang, mga aso Ang yan? talagang <laughs> sa amin... <laughs> Sorry naman, may dumating. <laughs> uh, ang prayer ko lang talaga is, ano, you know, um, by August is maging ready na yung education system dito sa atin sa Pilipinas, especially for the public school. Kasi mas at risk yung, ano eh, yung masses eh. Diba? Alam naman yeah. natin na uh, yung mga bata, uh, may mga elementary students from public school na naglalakad lang on their own, going to school, so, and yeah. yung risk na marami silang makasalamuhang tao sa kalye. And, you know, our children has to be reminded all the time that they have to wear masks as well. Kailangan nakamask din sila sa school. I believe that's going to be also a requirement uh, ng school and ng yeah. mga teachers. So, talagang Imagine. ang wish ko, ang talagang prayer ko is yun. Ma- matuloy na maging maayos yung pasukan sa August, especially for the public schools. Kasi I believe the private schools are already gearing up for it. Um, yeah. Mas malaking challenge talaga to sa mga nasa public. I think, naman, I think naman they're starting to fix everything na because as we all know, meron ng law ng classroom, di ba? So, kapag inayos na yung law ng classroom, <laughs> Pwede na naman yung law ng classroom na yun. Pwede na lumabas. Ay, pwede na lumabas. O pwede na rin pumasok at pwede na rin lumabas. ba Kapag inayos na yung law ng classroom. <laughs> but you know, Good my, luck my, uh, my fervent prayer really is, of course, on top of everything, is for this pandemic to, to finally be over. Eh, sana naman after this, people will be very co- will be very conscious na with their actions. Like for example, yung mga those people who are spitting in public, wag, wala nang ganon. Yung mga bigla na lang humahatching na hindi man lang nagtatakip, sana wala nang ganon. And if you're sick, kung meron kang sipon or you have, co- you have colds, you have cough, wag nang pumasok sa trabaho para hindi na makahawa pa, ba? Yeah. You know, yung spitting in public should already be a law. 
Yeah, dapat talaga niyan meron ng multa. Sa Singapore, batas yan eh. Yeah, dapat may, mul- may multa na yan talaga. Dapat sa atin, ganun din. Grabe. Yan ang law outside the classroom. <laughs> Ito sabi nga ni, ano, ni Faith De Leon Sacramento. She says, pabor po ako sa online class kasi maliliit pa ang mga apo ko. Isang 7 at 6 years old lang. Mahirap daw ipagsapalaran ang safety ng mga bata. Totoo naman yan. Totoo naman. Yeah. And Ate Ra Diamond says, buti na lang wala daw siya nag-aaral na anak. Siguro kung meron, isa rin daw siya sa praning ngayon. <laughs> buti oh. na lang, professional na yung anak mo, Ate Red. Tama, tama. That's true. Red Abastilla says, hello DJ Chloe, ang ganda mo. Oy, may fan si DJ Chloe. <laughs> Sino nagsabi si Ate Red? Uh, Red Abastilla Ah, thank you. Maraming salamat. Nadala lang ng red lipstick. Nakakamiss na kasi mag-ayos, di ba, Sam? <laughs> Oo nga. Kung pwede lang magprito ng isda habang naka-red lipstick, why not? Pag lumalabas nga ako, whenever I do buy essentials, di na lang ako nagli-lipstick kasi nakamask naman ako, di naman makikita. Oh, diba? Didikit lang yung lipstick sa mask mo. <laughs> yung mga makeup natin, Sam, paano na? <laughs> <laughs> Ay, nako. But we're, ano, we're blessed that even up to now, you know, the three of us and everyone in the team, we're all safe, we're all healthy, and uh, no one's getting positive, you know. Sana, hanggang sa dulo, ganito tayo lahat. Oo. Alam naman natin how effective it is to stay at home. Diba? Yes. That's true. Oh, effective naman talaga. Kasi kung hindi, edi marami nang may sakit sa atin ngayon. Tiis-tiis so, tiis na lang so, muna ng katinang oh, oh. paano. <laughs> tama, tama. Tama si DJ Chloe. Tiis-tiis muna, konting tiyaga. And lahat naman tayo <laughs> naghihirap dito. ba? <laughs> lahat naman tayo nakakaranas ng mga pay cuts. Yung iba, work without pay. Uh, no work, no pay. No work, no rice. <laughs> oh, no work, no rice. <laughs> Sinik nga, Ayan, sobrang so paghihirap, di na nakakapag-ahit, oh. Sobrang <laughs> hirap, di na nakakapag-ahit. Hindi <laughs> pwede mahal kayo ng razor. Mahal ba? Ayaw mong bunuti Ay, na lang ng chani. Masakit. <laughs> Ito pa sabi ni Faith De Leon, Sacramento. She said, praying also yung remdesivir na vaccine. Sana safe na safe na attested talaga para sa tao. The remdesivir is uh it's a it's a medicine it's not a vaccine ha alam ko gamot siya Oo nga gamot Uh-oh. nga siya pero parang it's ano eh it's a one step ahead na nga daw tapos kung i-combine pa siya sa ibang mga drugs it will be very effective for treatment of COVID-19 which I hope sana mapag-aralan nila kung ano pa yung ibang mga drugs na yun so <laughs> maging madali na tong pandemic na to matapos na True. Tama, tama. Oh, yeah. Lara like, Kikuchi like, says, be safe always po and God bless. My favorite DJ <laughs> Sam and May dumadaan sa likod ko. Chloe. May bubu. <laughs> May dumadaan sa likod ko. <laughs> Maganda naman yung dumadaan. Okay lang yan. <laughs> Ay, naku. Grabe. Oh, we have a ano kami li- ngayon? A lot of viewers oh. from Japan. Mm-hmm. Hello to all the people over at ano bang hello sa J- Japanese Moshi Moshi? <laughs> Konnichiwa. <laughs> Sayonara. Arigato. <laughs> Konnichiwa. <laughs> mochi. Nami miss ko yung kumain ng mochi sa ibabaw ng yogurt. <laughs> There's a struggle din sa Japan, no? Like they were we thought that they were okay, but you know, the second wave, the second diba? wave, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kasi yung iwasan natin nakakatakot for us. Yeah. Oo, yung Imagine, second wave na yan ang nakakatakot. Kung yung mga first world country talaga nahihirapan, ano pa tayong third world country, 'di ba? Kasi mm-hmm. our hospital system, yung mga medical experts natin, they are all exhausted na. 
Yeah. Alam mo yun? So, mm-hmm. kung madadagdagan na madadagdagan yung mga tao magkaka-COVID, paano na yung mga health professionals natin? Kawawa din sila. Diba? Grabe na yung mga Oo. duty nila. Wala na atang uwian. Wala, wala True. talaga. Walang uwian. True. Anyway, dami na nating napag-usapan. I think we can na uh, We can now wrap up. <laughs> Pwede na tayo mag-wrap yeah. up. Yeah. Amanda, yeah. Amanda Trump says hello to uh, Enil Pio Quinto of Tumaga in uh, Sambuanga City. Ayan. Thank you sa mga nanonood. And also hello to uh, Lane Antonio and Abby Hamude watching. And Eli, si Ellie de Runday Villa Gonzalo is also watching. Jose Antonio Season and Leigh Piamonte, thank you so very much for watching our FB Live for Coffee Break. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining us for our topic uh, about the opening of classes in August. Let's hope and pray that, you know, this will be a success, especially when it comes to e-learning. And hopefully our government can really focus on uh, on the masses. Yung mga nasa public school kasi they need more help when it comes to e-learning para po sa darating na pasokan. Ayan. So any last words, uh, DJ Nick and DJ Chloe? Okay. Um, ikaw na muna, Nick. Mas hindi ako na, okay. na nakapokus. Sige, <laughs> <laughs> ikaw na! <laughs> so, to all students, uh, let me just say this. To all students, if you're feeling a bit down and low right now, because ang dami, ang dami na nangyayari. I know how, I probably don't know how it feels, but don't hold back. Mag-reach out to the parents. Show. And always remember that learning does not stop when you're outside the classroom. Oh, it doesn't stop there. So I hope that you maximize your time now to learn something, even if when you are at home. Yeah, what puro video games? True. <laughs> <laughs> man, for all for all the parents who are with us right now, please um, make sure that you check on your kids, that you talk to them, because you know even kids they also get stressed out. And make sure that you are able to explain uh, well. Or properly to your kids what is happening right now and uh, yun sa mga kids wag naman mo nang masyadong kasaway <laughs> sa mga magulang because your your parents are also having a hard time right now this is the best time for every family to help each other and to be for each other yeah That's right. So thank you, thank you so very much for those wonderful and encouraging words, DJ Nick, DJ Chloe, and thank you to all our viewers today for Coffee Break. Maraming salamat for joining us. We hope to see you again next week. Thank you, and please keep safe. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.